Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On my continuing Caden Live tutorial series, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the pan and zoom effect for both video and images. And if you're not familiar with what that effect is, it's basically you zooming in on an image or on a video or zooming out and you've probably seen a lot of those effects in YouTube. And so the effect that we want to use is transform. So if you go to your effects, you could go under favorites right here and it's under transform or you could do a search for transform and it'll show up. Either way will work. So all you have to do is pull this effect down to the actual clip that you want to put this on. And the thing that makes a difference is keyframes. So this right here, these are keyframes. So let's say for example, this is the very beginning of the video clip and I put this transform effect in here. Now I could actually adjust the size. So what I could do here is on this right side, you could actually zoom in and out. So this is really helpful on this newer version of Caden Live. So you just go ahead and zoom out and now you could kind of see where everything is. And what I'm going to do is start off really small. Let's just say like right here, we're going to zoom in really quickly. Okay. So now what I want to do is like maybe like five seconds into the clip, you could either move this around to go to the five seconds, or if you want to be very precise, you could just type in five or that's 50 seconds. So you type in zero five, press enter and now to go five seconds ahead. So once you get there, you could add a keyframe. And so now on this keyframe, you could actually adjust it however you want. So I'm going to make this like a lot bigger. And you could also adjust this by using dimension here as, as well or the size. But I find this a lot easier for me. So I want to get a lot closer to the graphics. So that's where I want to go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom back in so I could get a better view. So here you could go from keyframe to keyframe. Let's go back to this previous keyframe. And let's check this out to see how it looks like. So you just go ahead and play that. And yep, that zooms in pretty nicely. And then if you actually want to get a larger view of that, just go ahead and maximize this. And then press on your space bar. And there you go. And that's a very easy way to do pan and zoom. Uh, it all has to do with the keyframes. And the thing is, with the keyframes itself, you know, you can keep it at that size for, you know, as long as you want throughout this whole video. Or you could just add more keyframes and adjust the sizes, you know. And as I said, you could either move it around to where you actually want it to go with this right here. Or you could actually put in the actual time that you want the keyframe to be added. So if I wanted this... 15 seconds, press enter. So now I'm 15 seconds ahead. And once again, I could add another keyframe. So let me go ahead and zoom out. So let's make this even more zoomed in. And let's go back to this keyframe. Let's go back to the beginning and zoom in and then maximize this. So let's see how this looks. Yep, exactly. And really close to the combat as you can see here. So now that you understand how pan and zoom works with the transform effect, you can pretty much do the same thing to any other video or image file. So that way you can do other things like you'd overlay different videos on top of it. So let me show you an example here. So what I want to do is overlay this particular video on top of the video I already have. So I would bring down the transform effect. I would go down to the effect right here. And then what I would do is I would actually zoom out and once I go down to my effect I can adjust it just like I did last time so what I want to do is I want to actually add this keyframe maybe like about two seconds in I'm gonna zoom in let's just uh, make that exactly two seconds press enter add the keyframe and I'm gonna do this like TV style where it's zooming coming in and it's going to stay right there in the corner. So let's see how that looks. So we'll go ahead and start down here and I'm going to zoom in, make it full screen. Let's go ahead and press play on that. And what should happen is this other video should show up. There it is. And that's more like the TV style where you have two different video clips running. 
And once again, you can add more keyframes and adjust the size and position however you want. And the last thing is, since you know how to do the videos, the image is exactly the same. If you did have an image file, you want to do the same thing. Just simply drop it in here. You could stretch it out longer if you want. Drop in the transform effect. And it was called pan and zoom before. And so I would do the same thing here. I'd go to the beginning of the keyframe. And let's just say I want to do this five seconds in or six seconds in. I had a keyframe. You could zoom out. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to go ahead and put it right here on top. And since it is an image, there's not going to be any motion. So let's go ahead and zoom back in, blow it up, press play. Let's see how this looks like. Yep. Looks just as you would expect. And so uh, that is how you do the very simple but very fun and powerful uh, transform pan and zoom effect. So it allows you to create some really funny and sometimes annoying videos on YouTube. So that is how you actually do this. If you had any thoughts on this pan and zoom effect or if you had any other ways uh, in which to do this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see my entire Caden Live tutorial series, I will also leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com, and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.